Hey guys, it's me Kyler again. Um, so today's video is going to be my um January favorites, and it's going to be like skincare, one hair products, um, makeup and brushes that I've used majority of this month. Um, I do have no makeup on except for eye cream. So, no makeup, nothing, and if my hair looks a little bit like off colour, it's because I dyed it this morning, so it's a little bit, it looks uneven because the lighting sucks, because, um, tropical, ex-tropical cyclone Oswald, I think it was, um, it's like past now, and, um, I don't know if you guys in the States, like, ever hear about what happens in Australia, but, um, here in my state, Queensland, the Sunshine State, um, we got flooded pretty badly, like, Bundaberg, like, North Bundaberg, I think it was, pretty much went under, and, um, Rockhampton, parts of the Sunshine Coast went under, um, part of Brisbane, even half of my suburb went under, and um, parts of other suburbs and stuff. So it was pretty bad. It wasn't as bad as the floods two years ago in 2011. That was almost as bad as the floods that happened in 1974, I think it was. And but two years ago, my suburb, like pretty much the whole of my suburb, like my city kind of thing because I live half an hour out of Brisbane so um we pretty much went under like the house that I'm in right now went under but I wasn't living in here at the time and god knows only why my parents moved out here but anyways so that's also related to as to why I sound like I'm sick because I am because of the weather changing and everything and it just sucks and like just it being cold and then it being hot and just yeah um but anyways back into the video oh and also i'm barefaced because i'm going out later to buy shoes for my dress for saturday night so i'm filming then and i was going to put makeup on now when i'm going to be filming later so and i don't have enough time to film after because i'm going out straight after i'm ready so yeah um so i better jump into it so i'll just start off with skincare um <clears throat> hey bobby sorry my son's behind the laptop um the first thing is these what not natural organic facial wipes this is like those it's just a pack of 25 i probably have maybe about three or five left and um I really like these. I wipe my face after I use my Garnier makeup remover and then I go and cleanse my face. So, love these. I got these in my January Bella box, so I've used them pretty much since like every time I had makeup on, every time I've taken it off since like the 15th. Um, next thing is. This Garnier Skin Natural Simply Essential Serum Eye Makeup Remover. Now I use this to take off my eye makeup. No, I'm not. Um, and then also the rest of my face. I know you probably shouldn't do that, but it works for my skin. It's the only thing that will take my face makeup off. I won't leave like an oily residue on it. You guys this. No, no. <laughs> okay, next thing is the Garnier Body Intensive Seven Day Soothing Gel Lotion, instantly absorbing in um, El Bifidus and Peach for dry sensitive skin. It's like gel lotion, and it does absorb really fast. Like. And that's what it looks like. Kind of just looks like normal lotion, but it does like look like gel when you put it on your hand. 
Um, next thing is the formula 10.0.6. So totally clean, deep pore, deep pore cleanser. Now I showed a bigger bottle of this in my haul because I wanted to get a bigger bottle. I love this stuff. Like when you put it on, it does sort of feel like it's it's like a burning, tingling sensation on your face, but it's not burning. Like that's it getting in your pores and actually cleaning. And I look so shiny, but I don't mean to. But yeah, it works so well. Um, I just keep going with face products. I oh, yeah. um, this is my eye cream. <laughs> Uh, my mum got it and she had no idea what it was for. I know, right? Um, and it's just wrinkle filling cream. It's called Infusion RX. And it looks like a syringe, but I like you push this and it comes out here. And I just put it on my finger. And then I go like that, or like rub together and like dab it under my eyes. And um, I don't know, I like it. It seems to make my um concealer and stuff like look better. I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> um, I sound so bad. I'm so sorry. Um, now like onto makeup. Um, oh, I have one hair product. I'll just show it now. Um. This is the Professional Sebastian Trillant Thermal Protection Shimmer Complex. It's a heat protector. Sorry, it passes on. You shake it up. I don't know if you can say, but it's got like little shimmers in it. And you can't feel that on your hair, and that's what makes it look shiny, but not like you've got glitter in your hair. It's really good, and it makes it so soft. Um. Anyways, so I have two foundations. Um. One. I have like. I'm taking everything out of my makeup bag because this is what I use like all the time. So, uh, primer. I was using the. The Models Preferred Professional Mattifying Primer. Which I do love. I do love this stuff. But in some videos I've watched, they've talked about the hard candy, Sheer Envy. And I've had this sitting in my drawer. Like, these two drawers have makeup in it. And also those things, which I'm getting rid of because I don't like them anymore. Um, and I've had this sitting in my drawer for like ages. And I thought I might give it a go and I do really like it actually. It doesn't leave like in photos and sometimes in like person. Um, like white shading sort of with your foundation. Like the... Like the NARS one, I've only used it once and I found that it did leave that ashy kind of look to your skin. It does look like just like white cream. But this one's clear, this one's silicone. I think this actually might be water based. Doesn't have to be good. Oops. And this one's silicone base. I guess so. But these two don't. I found that this one sort of does. But that might be because it doesn't work on the foundation I was wearing. Anyway. But, anyways, foundation. I'm fallen back in love with my Fit 120 foundation. Loving this, like, there's really not much I can say. It's definitely medium to full coverage. Buildable. Looks so nice with once it's set. And the other thing I got in my um, 
haul video, my B fashion haul thing, I'll link down below. Is my whipped colors day in 200. I've only used this a uh, handful of times. And I do love it, I do. I really do. I, I would wear this during the day, then this at night, I reckon. But, um, that's just because it's really hot here in Australia. As you can tell, my face is so shiny. Lovely. And, um, what are you growling for? Um, but I was, because it's coming out to autumn, like, in the next couple of days. So, I'll see how this holds up in the colder months. I cannot wait for winter. I love winter. Um, the next thing I've been loving is three concealers. Now, you're probably going to think that I'm, like, totally insane for using this under my eyes, but I like it. It doesn't really, it doesn't crease. Crease is a little bit, like, come on, like, all concealers and powders crease a little, like, it's not just flat, though. like, everyone has little, little lines, but it doesn't, like, overly crease. Anyways, I use this under my foundation, like, I use, like, the tiniest, tiniest bit, like, I'll show you how much I use. Like... Like that much. Like I probably don't even use that much for both eyes. No, I probably use about that much for both eyes. I use that under my foundation. So I need to remove my sun. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't find his toy that I got. Anyways, I look so white. The hell is going on with this lighting? It's so far off. Anyways, other two concealers is the Milani HD Advanced Concealer in one thing. Yeah, I think it's the ivory. And then the Match Perfection Two in One Concealer and Highlighting Ivory. So I use this foundation, this and this. Anyways, for setting powder, for like here and under my eyes, the Physicians Formula Cover Tox 1050 in translucent light. Loving this. And I'll show you what brush I use and stuff. And then for the rest of my face, the Savvy Perfect Finish Loose Powder in translucent I mean, it does have a little bit of colour to it, but like, if anything, it makes the colour of your foundation look better, I reckon. And this was, this is like six dollars in um, price line. The powder I want to try is the Face of Australia one, like every Australian beauty person I watch. Raves about that stuff, so I was going my laptop for it. I was thinking of like the best to grab it. Anyway, for bronzer, I sort of I go between these three because I have them in my makeup bag. So, um, I might actually no, I won't show the three because I might use this one. It's my Nars Laguna. Love this stuff. Like, yeah, I love this stuff. I got my NARS stuff from www.kissamakeupny, which I'll put down below. I put all links to to our website that I buy my stuff from. Okay, highlighter. I've sort of been leaning towards the highlighter in the sleek faithful contour blush palette in light. Like I love sleek packaging, like it's sleek. Like it's just yeah, it sort of has similar feel to the Mars. Like supposed to be that's not as rubbery. But I don't know, it's just so compact and I think. 
the highlighter and this. And also I really like the blush and the bronzer, but the highlighter. It's just a nice shimmery. I obviously don't use that much. And I do like this blush. I have been sort of gravitating towards this. It's sort of like a peachy version of orgasm, I reckon. I think you guys might know it, but anyways. Um, and then in saying that, I have been using orgasm on. So, I feel it's like a pinky version. It's got like the gold undertones to it. Love, 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 love this. Um, that's that. For mascara, I have been loving my um, Benefit Bad Girl Lash. I use two mascaras. I put this one on first. And then I top it off with the one by one volume express satin black for Maybelline. Which I need to get another one. I just I love the wand of this. Like I don't know what it is. Like I just I love this. I haven't really seen many people sort of hanging out. I haven't really seen many people talk about this. Everyone talks about it. But um, when I am wearing false eyelashes, I use a little bit of this. So, um, eyeshadow. I received my Naked Two Power, which is somewhere in my bag. Because I, when we were uh, evacuating, I stayed at my boyfriend's place, my partner's place. So, yeah. Um, for my eyebrows. I mean, this I got this from Lauren, Lauren from Lauren Beauty, here, another guru in Australia. I don't classify myself as guru because I've only just started my channel. And I'm not, I'm not a makeup artist. I am studying to be a beautician, which is someone that does like nails, massaging, and makeup. So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, she uses the Jordana Eye Brow Eyeshadow Powder in I5 Brunette. She uses this, and this is like three bucks from um, Crush Cosmetics. I think I got it. So I got that. And then I also use the Elf Black Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I use both sides for my eyebrows, mostly. The eyelash one because the one's a little bit smaller. Like some people might say I don't need to fill it in, but you can tell there's like streaks of where there's no hair. Like it's retarded. So I use those. Um, for eyeliner. Yeah, I can't find it. I did use majority of January Maybelline the final line in Ebony Black. But then when I got the scandalized Rimmel in black, completely stopped using that. I love this stuff. I absolutely love, love, love it. Anyways, um the lashes. I do love my Adele Demi 120s, but I don't have any on me at the moment. I need to buy some stuff. I did try these out, and I love them. Like they look more natural than the Demi ones, but they look similar though. And these are the Just Just Lashes by Jamal Buster, the eyelash guru to the stars. These are the sold out show ones. This looks like that. I got these from Beauty Bay when I ordered my all nighter setting spray, which is another favorite of mine, guys. Um, and then my duo lash and clear. I mean, I've got the dark color bar to try it, and yeah, I love these. So, like, they just. They look better when I'm wear my dark makeup, which is like all the time. So yeah. Um, I think that's it for like makeup. 
Um, yeah. Now, on to brushes. Now, for my foundation, I'm using the Sedona Lace 928 brush. This looks like that. It does look like the Sigma F80, which I do have in the mail coming. I actually have two. I accidentally bought two. Oopsies. Um, and I, but I know I'm gonna love it, so I still have like a backup, I guess. So, um, and then I do have the um, Ben 9 face powder. I have a translucent one coming. And then, not the banana one, the cameo one. Is that one coming? And then I also have big sexy hair, volume, shampoo and conditioner coming. So when that all comes, I'll do a video. Um, and then I'll probably, actually I'll do like a review on the shampoo and conditioner. So, um, yeah, so the 928, I love this stuff. I use this with this. I used it once or twice with this, but I found that more stuck to the brush than actually got on my face. So I just use my fingers for this. I do want to get a beauty blender because there's a store up around, up in my area on Brisbane Road. Um, it's called Creative Artistry's Shop, I think. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. Such a good boy. Um, we got it from there, and they sell beauty blenders for twenty five dollars, which I think is similar to the price that they sold in America for. And that's the only store that's in Australia, like a store that's actually in here, not online, that sells them. So I'm gonna go up there, take a break, and um, see if they have any. But they do have a website, which I'll link down below, and they sell like um, Cinema Secrets. Ben Nye, um, all that stuff. But I will link below where I'm getting my Ben Nye powder from. Um, I'll put that all down below as well. Um, just look down below, there's all these websites. Um, for my powder, um, the Real Technique powder brush, obviously. Um, might look dirty to you, but I did clean it with. <laughs> the model's preferred brush cleaner which I had in my haul and I love this stuff like I cleaned my brushes today um this might look dirty but that's as clean as I can get it just from using this um I love this stuff like you just you don't even need to wet your brushes like you spray it on and then you just like you go like that on like a cloth or tea towel or paper towel or whatever. Um, and then for my blush, uh, the Real Technique blush brush, like that looks new, but as you can tell, I have used it, but I did clean it. Like that was like pink. Love that. Um, for contouring. It might look like a little bit haggard, but it's just like, like I guess not as good quality. Um, it's the Artiste Professional Contour Brush. So like that. I did clean it because that was like completely brown, like Laguna Brown. <laughs> um, then for setting under my eye, the Real Technique setting brush. <laughs> like. As you can tell, I've cleaned it because there's still a little bit of colour on it. And then blending, which I want to get the full size of this. This is the Sedona Lace EB13. I got this in like that little palette thing that the free gift that they would give you for the Black Friday. Because I got it like the um, set, which comes with like the angled, the rounded, and the kabuki. Which I don't really use those actually. I think I'll show you. It comes with the Sedona Lace 6 by 2 which is just like the angle, and then the 480, like rounded, and then the Kabuki, which is up there by Chrome Bullet Governor. But, um, if any of you guys use these brushes, can you tell me what you use them for? Because I haven't used them before. So, 
Um, I did use this for contouring the other and I didn't really like it, so it made it a little bit catchy. But, um, yeah, if any of you use these for, like, foundation or anything, please let me know. But, um, for blending, I do like using this because it's really fluffy. It's dense, but it's fluffy, though, and it really blends it out nicely. Um, for my eyebrow, I've been using the accent brush. It's not angled or anything, but it works for my eyebrows. I don't know. I don't like the um, angled eyebrow brush that um, comes with this set because I don't know, it's too big. It makes my eyebrows look really retarded. Um, this is the Real Technique Deluxe Crease Brush. I did clean because that was all black. I love this actually. I'm just packing it on the outer corner once I've done it all and I wanted just a little bit darker. Um, this is the Kabuki, which I've only used a couple of times and I don't know. I wish it was a little bit more dense. But that's the yeah. Kabuki doesn't have a number. Um, I love putting this this is the base shadow brush, just like packing it on here. I don't like sweeping it long, I like patting it. Um, and then like the other brushes that I've used a lot, it's just my blending brush from Revlon. I just got this from my, I don't know, cosmetic store. Um, next one is a rounded smudge brush. When I'm putting two colors on my lower lash line, I generally use this for like either color. Same with the eye crease brush from Elf. Just the like two dollar dollar range. And then putting color on. Um, why is this a little bit fatter? Uh, the Elf eyeshadow brush. Ugh, this looks like that. And then the B29 Shadow Smoky Fat by this. This is just like a fat brush. And it packs it on so well. Um, and yeah, and as for setting spray, my um, Urban Decay by Scandinavia setting spray. I just hold these things for like these little cup things that are meant to be for lots of like when you can drink out of a cup by himself. But for now, this for my brushes. Um, yeah, I've been loving that setting spray as well. And last thing, perfume is um this fantasy Britney Spears perfume. I repurchased this like so many times. And I love it. It's like a free spell. I'm not going to open it up and smell it because guarantee I won't be able to because I'm sick. Um, oh no, I can smell a little bit. This is like that. This is only the 50 ml. Yeah. I mean, I still have a fair bit left. Like, the 100 ml is like that big or something. Sorry, like that. Um, yeah, so. So for an extremely long video, and this is my January favorite. Anyways, um, I do have a giveaway going. I will link it down below. Please, please get involved in it. Um, the winner gets um over to all that setting spray and also naked one or naked two palette of their choice. Oh no, no naked two palette. Sorry. Um, they get Naked Tea Palette and also the All Nighter Setting Spray sent to them. It's open to anyone internationally. Um, all the rules will be in that video. Just go click on it and watch. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, people. Um, sorry for looking disgusting. I'm sick. Only chance I could do it because my son's asleep. So he was awake when he went to sleep. <laughs> So I'm probably going to go sort my shit out. So sort my stuff out. Um and yeah. Um and I will film later today. My get ready video. So yeah.
So yeah, until then, I will see you guys later. Bye.